<sighs> All right, we already done putting in diesel, and it's already filled up in full with my F four fifty. Yeah, I take another paint job because because the you know way glossier, so I take it out of the mat, and it looks pretty fine. And oh yeah, I made a detail. The 4x4 are afraid. Alright, I'm gonna get the chips in the soda and then we're gonna do today. Alright, let's get right to it. <laughs> Okay, we got everything you need. I got the coke and some funnies of onion rings chips. You know, I do love funnies, everything, you know, all different type of cokes. So, today I went to Outlaw's dealership. Is that uh we have another brand new vehicle. Is the Ford Bronco? Or should I call it a 69 Bronco? And it sat there like one year ago. Is that they make it to, making up to sell like, you know, $25,000. And what else would you have? Also, it's stocked. So, yeah, it's been out there like one year. And they want to make a purchase. Or trade. Well, you know, the vehicle's awesome. I think I will get it. And yeah. And we're gonna test out this thing. And right now I'm going the wrong way. I'm gonna turn around. I don't know what their construction was. And I'm driving a little bit legally. No need to tell. I'm gonna make it my blinker so I can turn. There we go. Oh yeah, we gotta be careful with the speed. Though I don't wanna get arrested by a cop or get a ticket. Because that will be bad. Alright, so I'm going to get the gooseneck, and then after that, we're going to get the vehicle. So, I will see you guys back in the house. Okay, we're here at my house. Here's my gooseneck. What I'm going to do is to, to make a turn and make a front. Gonna line up perfectly until not get like curved or vertical. Okay, it's good. Now I'm gonna get off my truck. Okay, so right now I'm hopping off the truck. Let's see, is everything fine with the gooseneck trailer? Let's see in the top. Okay, it looks it looks so good now. Now we're gonna attach it. Right now, so and then we have to retach it, and we're gonna be good. So let's go ahead and attach it. Okay, everything attached, everything's good, and I brought my tools. So are they anything fixed with this tr truck into the dealership? So yeah, let's go to the dealership and get that '69 Bronco. So right now we're gonna go ahead carefully go down the road going to the outlaw dealership and just right over there closer. Alright, stop. Anything cars? Anything? Nope, we're good. And there she is. The four Bronco. 
Oh, this thing's tiny. <laughs> it's a cute vehicle. Wow. And the axle also is cleaned. So, I don't know, it's not rusting anymore. Okay, so let's check it out what it looks like. Let's see what's inside of the interior. Oh, it's very good. I can see an actual a gear. The gearbox is actually different. Nice. The steering wheel looks awesome. The seats has like two seats. I guess you cannot fit like four in the back seat. So I do believe it's put your stuff in the back. I do believe. And it does has a another one of it. So you put go in and put the truck in this in, this inside of it. Well done. And the wheels though, it's like almost slammed. And the fenders though, it looks so cool. So yeah. And the face though, it looks so glorious. Alright, I'm gonna get the keys from the guy just calling me. And we're gonna test drive it. So, be right back. Okay, we are testing driving it. With this Ford Bronco, and right now it's starting to be so good. And let's see how Miles goes. So, here we go. So, all right, stop. There's anything, cars, anywhere. Nope, we're good. Oh man, this is so good. So, after we're going back in the road and hook this trailer, and we're going to be good. But right now, it drives softly. One of my opinion. You know. I'm like I'm not like a huge fan on Ford, but you know I'm a little bit fan of a Fords, you know that. But I like any trucks that are cool or awesome. So yeah. But this thing, it looks beauty. All right, I will take it. So right now, go ahead, put this trailer on the Bronco. And should be good. So be right back. Alright. Everything hooking up. And the truck is safely locked. And now let's head back to home. And customize it. Whoa. We got to be really careful. I know the gooseneck cannot go high enough with the road. But everything. But when I go to the road and the goose tank start bumping around from this road, I don't know why. Maybe it's a bug. But it's awesome. So I'm trying to find my home. Ah, oh, it's right over there. I can see it. Alright, now we're going to go ahead to recently park there and swap it let's back it up safely there we go and now let's go ahead and go to the garage and let's do the customization with this Bronco so let's see I guess I'm gonna park Going over it because there's a garage door right here. All right, let's fix her up. All right, we're inside the garage. It looks everything good. No scratch and no anything. No flat tire. It looks so perfectly tuned. But 
they need some upgrades so yeah so I'm gonna build this thing like anything like a theme of it it's got to be like a Baja crawler drag like any type so yeah I'm gonna think about it and then we're gonna go ahead and start building it so here we go
Okay, guys, so right now, the must be ready for a four Bronco should be build. So let's go ahead and let's check it out. Oh my god, that is looking beautiful. Wow. I think I made an actual a trial riding truck. Has a rock climbing, climbing tires. And, oh, I had a gun rack. That's cool. I don't know what it's for. I think we're going camping and hunting. Well, yes, sure. Got a repair pack and also his window tent. Yeah, they did a nice job with that. And also the rims, though, is looking so clean. The beads is locked. And yeah, everything. Winch and front light looks very awesome. Oh, did they put a snorkel? So not going to drain my engine. <laughs> so right now, we're going to go ahead and test this baby out. All right, boys and girls. We are testing driving it with the 69 Ford Bronco. Known as the first gen of the Bronco. Oh my god, it's drifty and starting to lean it up, up a little bit higher. But yeah, let's see if we can find some rock climbing things. Because I know I, I know where they at. But I didn't know. So, oh, it's got to be this way. So, oh. And this can't dr stop drifting. So we gotta make it slow into that. Uh oh. All right. Okay, that must be a rock climbing thing. Is it? I think it is. So let's see. make sure to turn up. Uh, turn on the locks. So you want to damage my suspension. And come on. You could do this for Bronco. Uh oh, uh oh. No, 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 no. Come on. Yes. Oh, no. Oh. Okay. Oh, we're doing it. We're doing it. Uh oh. Now we got stuck because I know it's so a little bit high. That's okay. We got it. I would say it perfectly. Well done. I think I got the build. And right now. Got this a little bit hard. But I guess you have to cross hard into the gas pedal. Oh yeah. it's also diesel swapped. I don't know why. And it looks like we got stuck. Uh no. I need a winch. Let's see if we can winch. Yep. There we go. I mean, it do, does look realistic to me with the Bronco. Now, I know I did put orange. Cause it's almost like fit on the real life. Because I already found the, you know, somebody's truck looks like a real life Bronco. So, yep, but I don't want to show you guys with the picture. Because I know it's, uh, it's from neighbor's house, but yeah. I don't know where do we go now. Uh, this way? No. I guess you gotta floor it. I guess. Is it? No. Ah. Well, I guess it's the end. I guess. Maybe. I think it is. Oh no! There's more. There's more of that. Let's go. Let's see how it goes. Yeah. This thing looking good. I like it, man. Alright. I'm gonna go back go back head home and let's see what is a total of oops. Let's see. What is the total of this truck for today? So I'll see you back in the home. 
Okay, so let's see what is the total of this truck. So, anyways, snorkel is cost two thousand dollars. Uh, engine upgrade is cost ten thousand dollars. Wow, really ten thousand dollars? That is way expensive, I think. But I had quite a money, so yeah. And switching with coal, known as diesel. So it's cost like five thousand dollars. The rims of the metallic, it looks way shiny and stuff. So it costs like four thousand dollars. The beat locks is already bigger, is one thousand dollars as well. And the tires of the rock climbing, it just cost like seven hundred dollars. The winch is seventy seven hundred fifty dollars. The front lights five hundred. And the gun racks are $250. The repair pack, it was $150. Not that bad at all. And also the paddle on the right beside the door bottom, it cost $150. Wow, that is a lot of stuff we need to do. And also the suspension are heavy duty, so it costs a five thousand dollar of the heavy duty so yeah the total of this truck for sale is eighty six thousand dollars of a first gen ford bronco known as 69 ford bronco whatever you call it yeah i'm loving it and i will keep this truck for a year so anyways, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video for today. Even though know it's night. If you do so, make sure you subscribe my channel, hit the like button, turn on bell notification, and also join my Discord server in the link in the description below if you wanted to join on my server. If you want to. I'm not forcing everyone. So, yeah, guys. I will see you guys later. Peace out.